Hey, hi everybody, Ginger Gargoyle here. We have quite the video to go through. I have a haul video. This is from, let me zoom in. This is from, oh, please, 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 please. Paper Wishes in Canby, Oregon. Remember, there are two ways to get free shipping. I get absolutely nothing for doing these videos, by the way. Um, I do them simply because I like to share with you what I have received. So, this week's video is a $2 Tuesday video. And this package was ordered on... Oh, darn it. This package was ordered on uh, August 2nd. Okay. And it was the $2 Tuesday sale. And, oh my gosh, it was 12 by 12. I actually, it wasn't just 12 by 12. It was their paper packs. But I ordered the 12 by 12. <coughs> now, when I say paper packs, I don't mean like they're... They're down by the sea packs where you get like 12 pages. I don't mean like they're um, uh, the, the ones where you get lots of different pages. These are packs of 15 to 25 sheets, all of the exact same page. So unless you are into doing uh, uh books or that type of thing 15 sheets of one print may not be what you want okay so you have to think it through now let's take a look at what i got oh and i got a vip if this gets too long i'm going to split this into two sections there's not going to be a clean break in between so you're probably going to get a repeat of a little bit it all depends on what youtube will allow me to do okay Let's get into these. All right, my first one. Now, I have this in an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet as well. Now, at the time, I did not have my paper trimmer. If I did, I would have used this baby just to cut down some 12 by 12 sheets. If you use an A4 size card, which is eight and a quarter by 11 and something, I don't know. Um, you can do the exact same thing. Just cut it to your printer paper size, all right, if you need to do that. And then I would print on the back side, which is usually white, all right? This one has no markings on the back, but it does have this strip across the top. Let's see, and then I also picked up this one. This is uh, hot off the press, brown leather. Now this is brown leather in that it looks like brown leather, all right? I knew what I was getting in with this one because it had quotation marks around the leather. And I had ordered some single sheets of this in the 8.5 by 11. So I knew that it was just a printed piece of paper. The reason I said it that way was because this is supposed to be burgundy suede or suede burgundy. That's the way that the color was stated. There were no quotations around the term suede. This is what suede burgundy looks like. Okay, this is suede. It's got a nice feel to it. It feels like suede. This is suede. It, it's like a scan of this. You can see the difference in the color. There is definitely a difference in the texture. This is just paper. This is got that wonderful suede feel to it. Then, let's see what else we got here. I got a whole lot of leaves. Oh my gosh, did I pick out on leaves. Uh, these are green, green maple leaves. All right. Remember, these are all 12 by 12. I picked up only 12 by 12 this time. These are brown leaves 
only reason I'm having a hard time reading is because of the way that the sun is hitting the page. Um, these are you know they should warn you about these things before you go get your cataract surgery done. Actually he did. My, my doctor did warn me. I just didn't pay attention. Um, this one is called Fall Leaves. All right, look how pretty that is. And I got to tell you, these are not as vibrant as the um, pictures on the website. They, they really are not as vibrant as all that. Which is sad because as pretty as these are, oh my gosh, the vibrancy on the web page was awesome. All right, and then I picked up All the Wild Things Leopard Print. Okay, this is non suede This is not felted. This is just paper. They do have all the wild things, <coughs> excuse me, that has the, um, the flocking on it. This is not that. Okay, and fall is becoming another great appreciation of mine as I get into some flannel type papers which they had. There is a brown and an evergreen. And, oh, I thought I had some more. So I got these two flannels. I could have swore I had more. They might show up. Chances are I got things mixed up. I have purchased what they call masculine camouflage. I didn't pick the name. It's camouflage to me. Oh. All right. Then I picked up some yellow gingham. Look how pretty and bright that is. That's one thing I like about spring and summer is gingham. Then I got some cork background. I knew this was just going to be paper. I picked up what they call yummy cherries. You guys might remember the yummy strawberries. This is a cherry version of that one. All right. I also picked up this one. This one is called Blue Adams. All right. <clears throat> Blue Adams. Beautiful, beautiful paper. I picked this one up. This one, I'm going to probably zoom in on. This one is called Vintage. No. Oh, this was the black and white sponge. But it looks very much like, like a vintage um, material. My mom used to have some of this in a, in a very old skirt that I recall. Let's see. Tie-dye. Hello. Who doesn't love tie-dye? That's a beautiful pattern. If you're a card maker, think of all the backgrounds you can use with this. Each one is going to be slightly different. Um, if you are a scrapbooker, Think of the wonderful things you can do with this. That paper is awesome. That would be great for a mystery card. <gasps> this one. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the dog bones. They're basically milk bones that uh, are all different colors. This is very much along that same line. Only these are clay type of hearts. And this is beautiful. Okay, you can get six cards per sheet, and that's going by a four by six, okay, range. 
uh, those would be card toppers. You'd want to go four by five and a quarter for the standard Americanized card. I don't know what the standard card is over in Europe. Then this is called Sunshine Border because of this border right here. Let me zoom in. Okay, this border right here made this sunshine border, but otherwise the entire sheet is this. Okay, you can put this on the top, you can put this on the side, you can put this on the bottom, and it all depends on where you want that border to be. Then I picked up some snowflakes. Winter is still by far my favorite uh, season. To me, you can just do more. There's more fun things. Um, it's more beautiful outside. So this one was called Snowflakes. This one is called Snowflakes and Swirls. Now, you have to look pretty close to see the snowflakes mixed in with the swirls. But they are definitely there. Okay. To me, this is more of a stars and swirls, but that's just me. Apparently, somebody over at Paper Wishes thought that those were more like snowflakes. Maybe it's just the way that my eyes are picking them up. But this paper is gorgeous. I can imagine using um, some foil on this or some embossing powders or... Oh, how about an embossing folder that has been stamped with a Versamark first? Oh, I got some ideas. This is called White Roses, and this is called Pink Roses. Gee, I wonder why. But you will notice that they are not the same pattern. I was thinking these were going to be the same pattern, just a different color filter on them. They are not. All right, you have to pay attention to the images when you order them. I still have use for them, don't worry. This is Vintage Catalog. I love this. This is beautiful. I have a 8 by 8 sheet of paper called that's labeled Memories that looks like the back of a, of a, um, of a, dictionary. I was going to say encyclopedia, but it wasn't an encyclopedia. It's definitely a dictionary. And this will pair nice with that. This is called hydrangea. Okay. In fact, I want to say this is called blue hydrangea. Uh, nope. It's just called hydrangea. Oh, no. Purple hydrangea is what this one is called. Okay. I have not seen this in any other color, so I don't know why they had to specify. These are baby words. Now, this is very faint. I don't even know if zooming in is going to bring the words clear enough for you. They are very faded, very faint words on this page. Okay. Then, this is called Red Music. All right, let me zoom back out. I know zooming in and zooming out is a bit of a pain in the butt, but it helps show things. And then finally, last but not least, is this one. This is called... This is called... Hang on, hang on. Look how pretty that paper is. Oh, sure. Now I can't find it because it's under my dupa. And anybody who speaks Polish, don't yell at me for swearing. It's just the way that I grew up. In America, dupa means bottom. It does not mean a nasty word. It's not that we don't know what it means. It's just, it's not as bad. In fact, I actually did not realize that it is a quote-unquote swear word in Poland until one of my parents at the daycare center 
told me about it. This is called, let's hide the name. Here it is. This is called Love and Happiness. That's why I couldn't think of it. Love and Happiness. And I don't know. There's words on here, guys. Okay. Can you see the words on here? They're, they're kind of a palish pink on a darker pink, but there's different layers of pink on here which to me makes this a wonderful page. It gives it lots and lots and lots and lots of texture. So that was it. That is everything except for the VIP freebie. Ta-da. Okay, let's get into this. Once a month when you become a VIP, which means that you have spent, oh, I want to say it's $600 a year, a linear year, um, they send you a VIP when you enter in a code on your next order for that month. Okay. This month is called uh, Christmas A Glow. Yes, it's Christmas Aglo. All right, and you get six pages, well, six sets, because they're double-sided, all right, of each kind. And they are micro-perfed. Let's see, I guess I am all the way up. Which means that they separate that easily. Hang on, I'm going to separate all of these. Okay, so there's this side and this side. And this is a nice heavyweight cardstock. Well, it's it's heavyweight paper or lightweight cardstock. I like this glow in the middle. And actually, this one you could pretty much use year round. I could see using this at Valentine's Day or for the Fourth of July. Oh, I love the candy canes in the corner. Okay. Oh, look, they got candy canes up top, too. Here's another one. Good for all year round. Nothing in here that says winter. Oh, here's a pretty one. I like the plaid in the back. Ooh, here's a pretty plaid. Oh, I could see using that all year. Wonderful red and white stripe. I'm telling you, red and white stripes are an all-year-round pattern. Not only can you use them at Christmas, you can use them in the summer with your sailboat stuff. You can use them for the 4th of July. You can use them for Valentine's Day. And then this is the first time I've seen them do this type of cut-apart. Normally, I've seen them do the cutouts, but not a cut-apart. And then even down here, this one can be cut down even farther. Okay, then we have this one. Look how pretty that one is. And then these are the cut aparts that I am used to seeing. All right, you get some with sayings, some without sayings, and you get a lot of different shapes, but you can tell that they're basic shapes. There's their rectangles and squares and circles. Chances are You've got a punch that'll fit this, or you can get a punch that'll fit this. You have, you could have, um, they make cutting dies that'll fit this. Um, the, even these long ones, those are easy enough to do on your, on your trimmer. I really like their cut aparts. I really, really do. I don't always like the sayings that come with the cut aparts, but I like their cut aparts. So that's it, guys. That is everything that I received in this order for August 2nd. I'm trying to find a nice background to put down. No, I think I'm going to put this one down. But nice. Um, that's everything I received for this order for a $2 Tuesday sale. Uh, check out their weekly sales, guys. It They change from week to week. Some are really good. Some of them are just like, uh, really, again? And I really look forward to when their papers go on sale. Now, 
what I'm going to do with 15 of some of these sheets, I have no idea. Some of them I have ideas off the bat with. Some of them I was disappointed with. Some of them I really like. So, yeah. I will talk to you all next time. I have to straighten out a problem that I'm having with Paper Wishes right now. But it's not really their problem. It was the delivery people's problem. So, I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye!